Welcome to Geothermal University. I'm Kyle Smith. In this training class, we'll learn how to temporarily install a PSC blower motor or a rescue motor in the place of an electronic commutated motor or ECM. Let's get started. Electronically commutated motors are highly efficient and very reliable, but like anything made, sometimes they fail. Because of the cost of an ECM motor module and countless programming options, many contractors and distributors are hesitant to stock the modules or motors. If it has to be ordered, the end user can be without heat or cool for days. To satisfy the customer concerns, a contractor can make temporary repairs to using a generic, readily available PSC motor. In this video, we'll show you how to temporarily install a standard PSC motor until the replacement ECM arrives. The customer need not be without heat or cooling for a couple of days. ECM motors typically utilize three horsepower options, half, three quarter, and one horsepower. Half and one horsepower are the most popular. There are two rotation, counterclockwise or clockwise choices. You should match motor voltage to unit voltage. Furnaces typically use 120 volt motors, while air handlers use 240 volt motors. Some replacement motors can run on 120 or 240 volts. A readily available, inexpensive, totally enclosed or open direct drive PSC motor can be wired in temporarily. The rescue motor can be used over and over. In this example, we are servicing a 230 volt geothermal unit. Here are the rescue or temp motor requirements. 3 ton and under models generally use half horsepower. Over 3 tons most likely uses 1 horsepower. Since this is temporary, a 3 quarter will likely work in the place of 1 horsepower. Follow these steps. Disconnect power to the unit. Next, remove the 5 pin high voltage plug from the ECM motor. Remove the 16 pin wire harness from the ECM board and the motor module. Loosen the set screw on the blower wheel on the back side of the housing. Remove the failed ECM module and motor from the blower housing. We'll use the same motor mount if possible to install the PSC motor. Universal motors typically have multiple speed options. Connect the high speed winding and the common wire on the PSC motor to the contactor on the T1 and T2 side. By connecting the motor to T1 and T2 terminals, the blower will cycle with a call for heating or cooling. If you were to attach the wires on the L1, L2 side like the ECM motor, the blower would run continuously. Any unused motor leads or wires must have the end taped off and secured so that they will not short or dangle on the compartment. Make sure to attach the motor green wire to ground. The PSC motor requires the use of a capacitor, usually 5, 7.5, or 10 microfarads. Install the mountain capacitor in a safe location where terminals won't be in the open. When the new part arrives, reinstall the replacement motor, module, and harness. Then package up your rescue motor for future use. You can use a rescue motor over and over. Good customer service makes good business sense. If given the choice, most consumers would pay a premium than to be without heating or cooling. Thanks for watching Geotherm University.